all right so uh, today we are going to talk about uh, how to see a slide using a microscope oil immersion lens the 100x oil immersion lens that you can see here the black colored lens and uh, i'm going to teach you how to watch a slide using this 100x oil immersion lens and for that i'm taking a slide corny bacterium diphtheri the bacterial slide and uh, we can see this in 40x so i'm going to put this slide uh, using one hand and putting the slide here so right now the slide is in this position and uh, i'll start with uh, lower magnification this is very important that uh, you always start with lower magnification that is from 10x then a uh, slowly increase to 40x and then 200x that is uh, the protocol that you should always follow you should always use lower magnification to start with in the objective and then slowly move to the large one now always keep the light resources so at, at this moment as you are looking at 10x uh, i'll decrease the light intensity and also i'll uh, adjust the diaphragm a little bit the diaphragm should not be open too much a uh, little bit of opening in the diaphragm so that enough amount of light hits the sample what uh, can be observed now uh, here we need to put position the slide uh, so basically the mechanical stage and uh, the rule is you simply put the mechanical stage in a gap of uh, one finger that is something from this point of view you can see this point of view this should be very much near about one uh, finger gap in between okay one finger a little less than one finger that is the gap visible from this angle and then you see uh, what gap that we have so this one finger concept is very important that you always see then a look uh, through the eyepiece to adjust and see exactly where it should be positioned because if you uh, place it very close the slide can break and it can damage the uh, also damage the objective lens so this is the gap you can see this is this is kind of a one finger gap so one inch or one finger gap that i always say once it reaches there then you adjust the course and fine adjustment screw particularly with the fine adjustment screw in order to find it so you can see it through so you can see uh, once you see and then now we are going to fine adjust and i think we can see the slide now uh, the slide is now visible and uh, you can adjust the light the intensity and as well as the the diaphragm in order to get a better picture better visualization but we can easily get this visualization by uh, fine adjusting so once it is done this is the 10x and obviously bacteria cannot be well seen in a 10x uh, objective lens so we need to increase it to 40x uh, so once we increase to 40x obviously we need more light so i'll increase the light intensity and uh, also open up the diaphragm a little more then i'll shift the objective lens to 40x now at this 40x objective lens we only need to do fine adjustment because these are per focal lenses we don't need to do any course adjustment only fine adjustment required just see things through this eyepiece and do very fine adjustment and you can see it with fine adjustment we can clearly see the slide we can clearly see uh, our content whatever content that we want to see it is visible at this particular moment so now you can see if i do the fine adjustment we are going to see the slide you can see the uh, blue dots here out there these are the call these are the you know corny bacterium diphtheri very small very faintly visible but you know obviously because we are re-recording the same picture with uh, the camera that's why now you can probably see the the blue colored dot structures out there these are corny bacterium diphtheri okay blue blue dots that you can see okay these are all corny bacterium diphtheri and it is a uh, visible uh, if i zoom in you are going to see it a little bit uh, more clearly but uh, that's not because this is not a traditional way of seeing it uh, when you see it through your eye it is even more clear the picture is more clear and the contrast is also better the zoom version can give you a better idea you can see these blue dots yeah these are the bacteria these are corny bacterium diphtheri you can see okay the clarity is not good because we are re-recording it in multiple levels that's why it's not that clear but actually the point is that uh, you can see things through it so once it is visible using 40x objective lens now it's time to put it under 100x oil immersion and for that we need to apply oil so we use synthetic oil do not use cedarwood oil because cedarwood oil can stick itself to the glass so don't use it use synthetic oil it's easily available price is also very low we need to put this oil one drop of it to the top of the cover slip for that we need to arrange a gap so i'll slide the 40x a little bit 
uh, it creates a v-shaped gap in between now this is a perfect position we will not uh, remove the slide will not do any sort of adjustment at this moment only we will add a drop of oil on top of the cover sleeve it's very very important and once we put the drop so you see just a little bit of it just one drop that's it done then we need to slide this 100x objective in a, such a way so that it touches the oil it's very important that this objective touches the oil okay that is the point of oil immersion lens that is the point of utilizing 100x lens okay the moment this 100x lens touches the oil that should shouldn't be any gap between the slide surface and the uh, objective lens so it, it 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 touched right at this moment it's touched and remember that when you are looking any object under the microscope using 100x lens uh, the diaphragm should be opened and also the the light source should be at the full power it's very important and we do the fine adjustment a little bit and you are going to see uh, the, the the bacteria quite easily now you may need to do a little bit of fine adjustment out there but remember one thing and that thing is most important and that is the use of diaphragm the use of light resources we'll increase the light resources to the maximum and we open up the diaphragm so the diaphragm is fully open and the light source is fully on and you can see the colony now the blue one now you can see much clearer than the 40x one earlier okay the diaphragm must be opened up a little bit more and also you need to keep the light intensity to the maximum so that you can see uh, the screen properly the blue ones uh, it is shaky because of the higher magnification and i am holding one camera in one hand and operating the microscope on the other hand that causes this sort of shakiness and vibrations but you can clearly see these are the bacterial colony the picture of which will be much more clear uh, much better you can see the zoomed in version of it the picture that we usually take with the the camera that is already fit to this microscope will give you much clear resolution of this image but ultimately this is the way to actually capture uh, any image or video using 100x lens and the 100x lens that we are using here is oil using oil uh, and obviously without oil the resolution won't be clear you cannot see things clearly but with oil you can see things clearly okay you see the colony right you can uh, all the bacteria you can clearly see so it's over and this is the camera that we generally use to record this uh, with our software in the cpu uh, now once this is done uh, now it's very important to redo all this so that uh, the device gets ready for another round of this process right so it's very important that we uh, remove the slide properly from the microscope now so what we need to do we need to uh, remove the 100x objective lens first okay and uh, once we remove the objective how to do the simple simple remove of objective from the from the slide okay slowly we will turn it to the opposite direction to the counter clockwise direction okay and remember this this adjustment is very important without this adjustment we cannot uh, utilize it so remember you should not use any coarse or fine adjustment to take the stage up or down right now simply uh, change this lens and make sure that any other lens dry lens shouldn't touch it so just put it a counterclockwise measure that's it again making a v-shaped uh, stage at this moment then put the mechanical stage down okay and simply take the slides out we can take the slide out that's it done we'll put the mechanical stage down with course adjustment once uh, we give enough area we can now clean our objective lens our oil objective lens with uh, a tissue paper and the tissue paper with alcohol that is present on it uh, put a little bit of alcohol to it and simply clean the head of our 100x oil objective lens if we do not clean the lens then this lens will not give us any proper and clean data from the next time onward and make sure that the slide is also being cleaned because if the slide is not being cleaned then uh, the slide can be in touch with the dry lenses which is a dry 40x lens or 10x lens a dry lens should not touch oil or similarly a lens that is with oil should not be operated dry uh, keep them separated so that they work properly and efficiently so that is very very important that you after every single round of usage of oil objective lens you have a 
proper rinsing and cleaning to the lens head and also the slide head okay without that the process will not be done properly so once that is done again you adjust the diaphragm you'll adjust the light resources because this is something and that again from the next time onwards you are going to put another slide you are going to start with 10x 40x and then 100x do not jump in in the 100x in the first place start with the lower magnification of objective 10 40 and then 100 and make sure to follow all my tips for a better visual clarity of the image hopefully this video helps you out uh, understanding this process if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye